Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while since I discussed anything Monster High related on my channel. Given that there has been a lot happening within the Monster High community these past couple months, I figured that I may as well briefly share and discuss some of the news. I am aware that most of this has already been covered by other doll YouTubers, but I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions regardless while taking the time to have conducted background research from sites like Monster High's Reddit page. Alright, first I will discuss the upcoming live-action movie and cartoon series scheduled to release in the fall of this year. So, for the live-action movie, not much has been released on the film visually, aside from a short teaser that did not reveal anything, and a picture of the three actresses playing Claudine, Draculaura, and Frankie. A lot of the fans are not welcoming toward the live-action film based on the leaked screenshots, which even resulted in harsh criticism toward the costume design. Now, personally, I don't think the costumes look that bad. I think what they were trying to go for was maintaining the ghouls' iconic color schemes with their style while staying true to the message. Though, I do find it a little odd that they incorporated here some of hot pink towards Frankie's color scheme, but I'll just leave that to a theory that Frankie wanted to get color coordinating tips from Draculaura. Now onto the animated series. Uh, there is an image I found circulating online where someone has brightened up the image so that the character silhouettes can be shown of what the main characters will look like. Before I go on to give a thorough look at each one of them, I want to give props to the art style. It captures the authenticity of what Generation 1 Monster High had. I will give the animators a quick round of applause. Now let's go ahead and analyze each one of the characters in this image. Alright, starting from the left, uh, we have what looks to be uh, Miss Cleo Denial here. So we have Cleo here sporting a blue and gold beaded uh, a headband. Um, what looks to be at the top of her headband is sort of um, uh, a bird's wing. And um, what we could see of uh, uh, Cleo's face, uh, she does look like Cleo. Her hairstyle actually doesn't look that bad. It actually exhibits her uh, royal personality quite well. And uh, the color scheme of her outfit uh, seems to be um, more reminiscent of uh, Gen 1 Cleo, with a subtle touch of Generation 2 reboot Cleo's art style. Yeah, consisting the color palette consisting of uh, gold with a bit of uh, teal blue as well. And her shoes, uh, she has... Um, uh, flat uh, wrapped shoes, which uh, actually realistically resemble more of uh, medium platform wedges, which uh, I do like. So uh, Cleo looks good. I don't have any complaints about her. Uh, now we have what looks to be uh, Laguna. So uh, with Laguna, so she's sporting a high ponytail. Uh, we can now see her ears, which are like webbed uh, fish ears. It's really hard to tell what her makeup looks like, but from her earrings, I think one of them has a starfish on the side. And um, her color palette seems to be uh, sea blue, uh, yellow, and a little bit of cotton candy uh, pink. She looks good. Uh, I, I, like Cleo, I don't have an issue with uh, Laguna's design either. Okay, now onto the middle. It's hard to see because of the big coming soon text, but um, if you guys can see the stitching at the, at the bottom, this looks to be uh, Frankie. I can't really uh, say anything about uh, Frankie's design because I can't really see her upper half. Um, but I will say that um, her shoes look good and her skirt uh, resembles, um, you know, the classic uh, preppy plaid that Frankie is known for in some of her outfits. And her color palette is uh, stays true to 
some of Frankie's older outfits with the yellow, the um, the black, and the blue. All right, now uh, Draculaura, my favorite ghoul. So Draculaura, uh, Draculaura, probably one of my least favorites design-wise uh, in this picture, but she does look really cute. I love her hairstyle. Uh, I like that they incorporated, you know, her classic uh, a pink and black uh, streaks and instead made it uh, pink on one side and black on the other side. Kind of like resembling uh, night and day a little bit. Even though uh, Dracula is a vampire and she can't really go out in the sun too much. Looking closely, she seems to have her classic uh, heart on her cheek. But yeah, her outfit uh, is is kind of plain, but it does suit her um, because Dracula is supposed to have a Victorian-inspired fashion. Uh, I can't really see her shoes, so I can't really make a, make a conclusion on that front. Um, but, you know, she's okay. She's cute. Uh, maybe if there's more, um, you know, images of uh, Draculaura's actual uh, outfit released, uh, I might do a, a reassessment. Now, to the bottom right, uh, before we get to Deuce, um, I believe that's uh, Claudine Wolf uh, down there. Yeah, like Frankie, I can't see Claudine's upper half, um, but uh, for her bottom half, uh, she seems to be wearing... Um, what looks to be uh, sneakers of some sort, or purple wedges, I don't know, and wearing some uh, uh, socks over her calves and uh, short shorts. Like with Frankie, I don't have much to say on Claudine because can't see her. All right, last but certainly not least, we have Deuce. Deuce, Deuce, Deuce. Hopefully in the cartoon series, Mattel actually makes Deuce a main character like he was supposed to be and not, you know, push him into the background to just become Cleo's love interest. So, um, a Deuce's design. It rocks. Uh, I think him and uh, Cleo's designs, uh, out of all of them, would have to be the top two, in my opinion. I love his shades. His sweater um, kind of resembles uh, what Deuce wore in the Boo York movie, uh, but more uh, modernized, I guess. I can't really tell what the design is on his sweater, but uh, he looks cool. Not not much else I can say on that front. Uh, overall, um, I'm really looking forward to the animated series, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for more uh, uh, future screenshots to come out so we can get a better look at uh, what these guys will look like as well as uh, the supporting characters because I would love to see, um, you know, redesigns from Claude, Gil, uh, Spectra, and Abby and all those. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's go on to the, uh, the meat and potatoes, um, which has been happening the last couple months, surrounding the Haunt Couture dolls. Ah, finally, the main part of this video, which has had the fan base in an understandable outcry during these last couple months. Now, uh, I did not purchase, uh, any one of these dolls as I'm a budget collector and the price point set for each of them did not equal the value of what you would get. So I cannot provide a thorough review. I understand why the price points are set the way they are due to the supply chain crisis that's been uh, occurring over the past several months. Uh, all I can say is for future releases, I hope that Mattel will consider the feedback the fans have been providing, particularly with their quality control issues, which has been the main problem with these dolls. 
I have read posts online from fans who have purchased these dolls that have complained about factory defects on their dolls, and some had to get their money refunded due to the amount of dolls produced not matching up to the amount of orders, for example. Unfortunately, the only way to acquire these dolls is by paying scalper prices on sites like eBay, which um, I do not recommend paying scalper prices. Please do not support scalpers, guys. When shopping online, always check the seller's page first for reviews before clicking that buy button or go thrifting for your dolls at the local thrift stores in your area. Trust me, you and your wallets will be very happy in the long run. Uh, anyway, guys, that is going to conclude uh, this video from me. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys uh, th think, uh, your thoughts on the upcoming live action movie and animated series, as well as how Mattel can, um, you know, improve the quality of their dolls going forward into this year. Alright, uh, thanks for watching and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.